please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Okay, well, just a couple of hours left for the Lok Sabha to debate and vote on the opposition's mot motion of no confidence. The Modi-led government needs 268 votes to clear the test and as of now, it has 305 certain votes which should see it sail through easily. Ahead of that, both the sides are gearing up for what promises to be a mega showdown. This is the first time a government is facing a no-confidence vote in 15 years. The last one was faced by the Atal Bihari Vajpayee-led government in 2003. It's pretty evident that the government has the numbers. Who will vote with the opposition? Parikshit Lutra reports on the numbers. We are going to see a six to seven hour discussion on no confidence motion in parliament where the Congress and all other opposition parties are going to use this opportunity to take on the government over job losses, over unemployment, over farmers, over MSP and mob lynchings that have taken place in the country over the last couple of months. Uh, at the same time, the government is absolutely sure that they will sail through. In fact, we're looking at the numbers and Shiv Sena has committed to supporting the BJP on the floor of the House. So this means that the number that the BJP has is about 305 plus. So really no problem for the BJP. And that probably has uh, allowed the BJP to dare Rahul Gandhi to speak up in Parliament and criticize uh, the government because they feel it will be clear, the opposition's real intentions will be clear and the government will come out victorious. Let's uh, look at the numbers of the opposition. UPA plus other parties like the TMC, TDP, Viasar, they are equal to about 119 MPs. Even though the opposition claims about 150, we get a sense that there would be about 120 MPs which would finally support the no-confidence motion. They're not going to get support from the AIA, DMK. They won't get support from TRS and the Biju Janata Dal. And this would make about 68 MPs who are undecided or who may even go ahead and abstain from voting. Uh, and one of the reasons that we're picking up is because they don't want to be seen as following either the Congress or the TDP. So there are, there are cracks within political parties as well. But the no-confidence motion will be one to watch out for. There are some within the opposition who feel this is a mistake. Others feel this is the best opportunity to speak up and criticize the government and try and change the narrative. All right, that's going to be quite an interesting one. We're we'll looking forward to it later this evening. Well, on that note, we'll slip into a short break. You come back. We'll tell you all the cues that are sacked up. Well, uh, you're still tuned into Power Breakfast this Friday morning. Well, let's surprise you what took place on the markets yesterday. The markets recovered in the last hour of trade, but still ended in the red. The Nifty gave up 11,000 and the Sensex ended flat. Nifty Bank saw three-tenths of a percent shaved off, courtesy a 4% fall that we saw in Kotak Mahindra Bank reacting to numbers. Mid-caps continued to underperform, lost 130 points. How do things stand, stack up uh, from the pol political standpoint as well as the global standpoint? We have Manglam joining in. Manglam, morning. Absolutely. We will be watching out for uh, the 11 o'clock no confidence mode, uh, vote, Ekta, but uh, cannot stress more on the underperformance that the mid-cap index has been showing, not just this year, not just this month, and not just this week. Even if you take a look at this month, the Nifty itself is up 2.5%, the mid-cap index down about 1.6%, the small cap index a little more than that. And even the pharma stocks where the street was wondering that perhaps a bottom has been made those stocks are moving higher this month itself that stock too has that index too has corrected about four and a half percent the yesterday the stat that really stood out 53 uh, 33 stocks at a 52 week high that compares to 429 stocks which are at a 52 week low so more than 10 stocks at a low as against near uh, 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 one stock at a 52 week high so that is something we'll have to watch out for more interestingly the stocks which were at record highs are seeing some profit taking post results so the likes of hindustan unilever down about five and a half percent after results. Ashok Leland, not a direct correlation with uh, re results itself, but results were okay. -ish. Operational beat come by that stock down 18 percent since the results. Mind Tree, Kotak Mahindra, Bajaj Finance as well was at a record high, fell post results, did see a bit of a recovery, but no big stellar moves coming in. So that tells you that maybe perhaps a lot of the stocks are presaging their results. Case in point, Wipro and Bajaj Auto, both the numbers likely today. This month itself, Wipro is up nine percent, Bajaj Auto up 11 percent. So that is something we we will be watching out for apart from political as well as global cues watch out for the rupee because while the crude is lower a depreciated rupee means we still have to pay higher and yesterday was the first time that the rupee closed about 69 though the dollar weakened overnight this is something that we will be watching out for yesterday yes the markets did fall the mid cap index underperformed but the gross volumes from the institutions was very low FII's and DII's average gross volume put together 
was less than a billion dollars. So that's telling you maybe the mid-cap underperformance is coming in on account of perhaps some HNIs slash uh, uh, portfolio management services as well. FII is stacking up on index futures, also buying some puts. So that makes the no confidence mode very, very important. The markers are placed at uh, the 10,800 put and the 11,000 call. Very important trigger today, 11 o'clock. That is something that we will be watching out for. TDP and others have moved the no confidence vote against the government the first time since 2003 that this has happened. All right, uh, Mangalam, what about stocks we can look forward to? A lot of stocks, Nigel. Uh, we spoke about Bajaj Auto and Wipro reporting their results, but from the mid-cap space, uh, trader favorite names, they are all in focus. We have the likes of Just Dial, Seat, Kansai Nerolak, Havels, as well as Bata reporting their results today. Watch out for Bajaj FinServe as well for them. The general insurance business showed a 36% growth in the net profit. Life insurance business profits came off quarter on quarter for Bajaj in, uh, uh, FinServe. General insurance and life insurance more important, primarily because Bajaj finance numbers which account for 55 percent had come during the markets itself uh, abb india the revenues were a hundred crore higher than what the poll estimated ebita was a tad bit lower and the net profit also was a little below the estimates access cap says abb secured order inflow of 24.7 billion that compares with their estimate of 28 billion so commentary very important so this is something we will be watching out for hats and agro revenues were down six percent net profit moved by seven and a half percent so that is a positive that is something we'll be watching out for Sri Digvijay Cement as well. We saw a revenue growth of 20% plus. The net profit grew a little more, so watch out for that stock too. Omax Auto. Now, out there, the revenues uh, were higher by about 13%, but on the operational front, the company posted a profit. This compares with a loss, so that should be a positive as well. Hindalco. Now, this will be very interesting because yesterday we broke that story with regards to the LRS acquisition. The company has clarified to the exchanges that there is no proposal to acquire this and no such proposal has been considered by the board. So, this is something we will be watching out for whether they go ahead and do acquire it or not. Alembic Pharma received uh, an ins establishment inspection report for their API facility in Karakhari. And I'll watch out for Gulf Oil Lubricants as well as Castrol because Maruti has now gone ahead and introduced EC Star lubricants, uh, uh, lubricants which are coolants and uh, products which are all across their workshop. So does that mean more competition for the listed guys or not is something we'll be watching out for. All right. Uh, thanks for that. Take a break now. But up next, Congress leader Shashi Tharoor believes that today's no-confidence debate is a chance for the opposition to highlight the government's failure. Stay tuned. Well, the big test for is here for the Modi government as it faces its first no-confidence test. This bears a lot of significance in the run-up to the Lok Sabha polls in 2019, where the results will be used as a campaign tool against the opposition. PM Modi and P Congress President Rahul Gandhi will speak today in the Lok Sabha as all parties have been allotted a specific amount of time to put forward their views on the motion ahead of the voting, which is expected to take place by today evening. Okay, well, Congress uh, lawmaker Shashi Tharoor believes that today's debate on the no-confidence motion is a chance for the opposition to highlight the government's failures. Listen in to what that conversation is with uh, CNBC TV 18's Parikshit Luthra. The last session, the budget session, a number of parties had put forward no-confidence motions, particularly at the time of the budget. There was a, a great deal of anger at that time, and we saw something quite disgraceful where the government appeared to be inciting their own supporters and well-wishers, mm. in particular in the latter part of the session, the ADMK, which survives in Tamil Nadu on the largesse of the BJP government in the center, to disrupt the house. Mm. In other words, it seemed that the government mm. preferred to disrupt the house and pass the budget in the din mm. rather than discuss any of the issues facing the nation. Mm. And after the washout of that session, mm. many opposition parties said we have lost an opportunity to place before the nation mm. the failures of this government, mm. the economic mismanagement, the misgovernance, the agricultural stagnation, the mm. farmers' suicides, the joblessness and unemployment, mm. the decline in the economic growth, mm. the uh, rising prices of everything, cooking gas cylinders to the petrol or diesel, the poor two-wheeler mm. guy buys at the pump mm. because the, the, the BJP government is slapping a 20 rupee tax on every So it's more of a platform liter. to so, so it's, a, it's, it's we But had, you know that they will we, not succeed. We, let me just me finish my point. So yeah. we said we had this opportunity and the BJP was so scared of hearing it mm. that they disrupted the house and should we not seize this opportunity again mm. at the next time it comes around. So when parliament came around again, mm. many opposition parties, I think it was something like eight, may have been even more by the end of the process, it may have been a dozen, 
all said we want to have a vote of no confidence just so that we can express our dissatisfaction before the nation. Mm. And that's precisely what the vote of no confidence will enable us yeah. to do. So it's, it's merely, a, merely a platform to voice your concerns, voice your opposition, criticism to the government, but the Congress very well knows that it doesn't have the numbers for the bill to go, listen, for the no confidence motion to go. The point through. of the debate and the point of putting these things across is also to bypass the, uh, the, 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 the media's willingness to allow the BJP's media management to dictate the narrative and dictate the headlines. Mm. At least for one day, mm. if not for a week, mm. you will have the country focusing on the issues that the opposition considers important. Mm. And you will also have the country listening to its own problems, mm. which the BJP tries to mask under all this rhetoric of Hindu-Muslim talk and so on. So, but, but what will the message when the headlines say BJP wins the confidence motion vote in parliament? Well, BJP clears and BJP will be able to say that uh, we had the numbers, this was, a just, this was just a political gimmick on the part of the opposition. No, this is not a political gimmick, this is a constitutional uh, right that whenever 50 people who are in the house mm. have the right, uh, have, have the desire, I beg your pardon, to, to challenge the government and to express new confidence, they have the right to do so. Mm. And what's very important for us to understand is there are people coming from different perspectives. The Telugu Desam put forward the first vote, they'll be the first speakers. They have been much more concerned about the mistreatment of Andhra. Mm. In fact, the promises were not kept to Andhra. Mm. But you have others with other issues. Mm. And we will have multiple issues we wish to raise mm. as the leading opposition party. Mm. I mean, frankly, how do we get our voice out to the people? This is an excellent way of doing so. Okay, take a break now. But up next, Bajaj Auto and Wipro will report their Q1 numbers. We'll get you the key expectations on the other side.